God bless you. Greetings, everyone. This is Silver Jesus Christ one more time. Let me go right to it. <laughs> we want to go right to it and, and destroy this myth. You know the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is a designer of the thoughts. The word of God is sharper than it is to its soul. Divide the sun. Let's get that. What we want there? Hebrew what? Hebrew 4, Hebrew 5. Which one is it? Hey, is it 412? Or 424? Hebrew. Shh. Hebrew. The law was well, we need the sun. We need the sun. We need the sun. Man, honey, ain't no sun without no wood. Ain't no sun without no word of God. Hey, 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 hey. The word of God decides. The word of God uh, determines what's right or wrong. <laughs> For it is written. Hallelujah. I think I'm on Hebrew 4.12. I think that's why I want. If it's not 4, 12, 5, 12. I think that's what it was. Hebrew 4 and 12. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost brought this today. I, 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 never, I never taught on this day in my life. But the Holy Ghost know and it line up with the Word of God. Hebrew chapter 4. At verse number 12. 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of, 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 asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow. The word, you can't hide the word of God going to find you. And is a discerner, the word of God, a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Now, <laughs> 13, neither they any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked. You ain't had open unto the eyes of him for whom we have to do. Now let's go to uh, Hallelujah uh, Corinthians 12. Ah, God. Look at the spiritual gift. And as I said, I never taught on this before. you see what I'm going in a minute. Hebrew 12, let's look at the gifts of, gifts of the Spirit. Hebrew 12, 10, to another working of miracle, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits. This deserves the Spirit right here. You, ain't, you don't know that you ain't deserving no Spirit. Woo, my God, I, 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 I was listening to an old preacher a couple of nights ago. He said, some people have dreams. Say, 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 uh, you know, dream your dream. He said, I'm going to stick with the word. You you know your dream got to line up with the word of God. Let, let them get that. Let's get that. Hallelujah. Let him, let him that dream a dream tell his dream. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 23, 28. My God, you know I feel pretty good. Jeremiah 23, 28. Honey, your dream and your vision and uh, 
your property got to line up with the word of God. 23 and 28. Jeremiah. Hallelujah. I feel bad. I feel so good. Jeremiah 23, 28. What do it say here? Listen to what it said. The prophet that had a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that had my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Dream your dream, I'm going to speak the word. What is the chaff to the wheat, said the Lord? Is not my word like a fire, said the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh a rock into pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, said the Lord, that steal my word and everyone from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, said the Lord, that use their tongues and say, he said, he said, the Lord said, and the Lord said, and the Lord said, slap your neighbor, and the Lord said, your season, and the Lord said, so see for your miracle, and the Lord said, pay tithes and offering, and the Lord said, behold, I am against them that prophesy false dream. If you just keep dreaming, I'm going to keep breaking the wood. The wood is discerned of the thoughts. Now, the Lord brought this to me today. God knows. If this discernment here it is right in line with the word of God. You know the saying here, where the devil is after the family. The devil is seeking to destroy the family. Because if the devil destroys the family, he already know he got the, he, you know, if he gets the family, he already know he got the everything. He the war. You are lying, lying. The devil ain't stood about destroying no family. Satan ain't stood about destroying no family. Satan don't care about your you, you and your wife breaking up? What matter with you? Satan don't care nothing about that. Let me throw something in here. Jesus said he came to send a sword. They go divide. It put at odds. Family members. And they're because of Christ. Some want to go with Christ. Some don't. But the saying is, well, the devil seek to, the, the, to divide the family. No. The devil... Desire to have you and sift you as weak. The devil seek who he may devour. The devil, your adversary, wants you to stop serving the true and living God. The devil, your adversary, when the work through your fault, private pastor, wants you to act contrary to the word of God. The devil, your adversary, wants you to go to hell with him. The devil, your adversary, Tell you ain't nobody without sin. It's all right. It's all right. You human. It's all right. Just believe he died wrong again. It's all right. Don't worry about no wax. Ain't nobody got no hair there to put in. Uh, so a seed for a bill. The, 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 the devil want to send you, take you to hell with him. That's what the devil want. You know what? You know what? We better go there. We better go there. Whew. Devil ain't stuck about tearing up your marriage. What do he care? He, he want to tear you away from the true and living God. That's what he want. Let, get, let go directly there. Satan know his time is short. Revelation 12 and 12. Revelation 12 and 12. Let me just get from, get from. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. Revelation 12, 12. The devil ain't stuck, they stay. The, the, the I don't care whether you married or unmarried, the devil won't destroy you. And send you to hell. He won't turn you away from serving the true and living God. He won't keep you from obeying the word of God. 
Therefore, Revelation 12, 12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, as everybody. And of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Watch it. Because he know that he have but a short time. He won't destroy you. In hell. No, the devil don't control hell, but he wants you to go to hell with him. No, the devil, there ain't no devil's hell. He wants you to go to hell with him. All the inhabitants of the earth. He, 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 he already got Adam and Eve. He got the whole world. And God destroyed and flooded, killed everything except Noah and his family. He got Sodom and Gomorrah. He got others. You see that? You see that? The devil ain't stood about. Well, destroy the family. No, the devil wants to turn you from serving the true and living God. You back in the old tells me, I got that, hallelujah. It say, it, uh, I guess around about the uh, 14th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, 13th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, or 18th chapter of the book of Deuteronomy. If there arise among you a prophet or a dream or a dream, he tell you to go serve other God, which you have not known, you shall not do it. Another word says, don't even give your daughters to marry them that serve idol God, for they will turn your heart from serving the true and living God. All right, hallelujah. And, and the apostle Paul said, O foolish Galatians, who be with you that you should not obey the truth? Yeah. Who be with you that you should not obey the truth? Hallelujah. Without ignorance of Satan's devices. Your adversary, the devil, is as a royal lion seeking who he made about. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the devil ain't stuck about destroying no family, the devil want to destroy you in hell. He wants you to go to hell with him. Cause he know he going. But he wants you to go with him. He wants to deceive you. What do deceive me? Turn you from serving the true and living God. That's his job. And you meet the devil in the pulpit every Sunday. That's the devil serving. Well, ain't no other way out saying it's all right to say you know that's the devil. Uh huh. All right, that's enough of that. The devil ain't stuck about destroying no family. The devil won't turn you from serving the true and living God. All right, all right. Praise God. The deceiver. Doctrines of devils. All right. All right, let's leave right there. The devil ain't stuck about destroying no family. The devil won't turn you from, from following the true and living God and his son Jesus Christ. That's what the devil won't do. Jesus rebuked rebuke, rebuke the devil that put the thought in Peter. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. Jesus came here to die. But Peter said, no, I'm going to stop this. I ain't going to let this happen. No, no. Peter had no idea the devil was that wet. When he said, get thee behind me, Satan. Satan got Peter looking at the natural, not looking at the things of God. All right, let's leave right there. The devil ain't stuck about destroying no family. Well, the, the Holy Ghost discerned that. The, what about you? What, what about you? What, what about you disobeying God? That's Satan. That's Satan. Hallelujah. All right. We'll leave it there. Praise God for the sermon. That's in line with the word of God. Praise God. Thank you for being.